In this video, I'm going to show you a couple techniques that I use for quickly opening the parent directory of the current file, including a really quick key binding that's sort of my preferred approach. So as you can see here, there's the explore command, and that'll open up the parent directory for the current file into the netrw directory listing. And so that's one I've used in the past, although it requires you to enter into command mode and type out the word explore. The one I got more used to using is using an edit command with the percent sign. And what that percent sign does on its own, if you were to tab it out, is give you the full path. So here we've got readme. And if we were to jump back to this file, you could see that we have vim and then the rest of the file name there. And so what I might do from there is back it up until I just have vim slash, and then I can open up this particular directory. But if I jump back here, um, there's a modification to that uh, percent sign file listing where you can say, give me just the head of that file. And so if I tab that out, I just get vim. So that's nice. And again, that puts me here in the netrw directory listing. And from here, I can navigate up. I can go to another file so on and so forth. And again, I want an even sort of cleaner and quicker way of doing this. And as someone who has used the Vim Vinegar Vim plugin for uh, quite a bit in the past, I've grown pretty used to and fond of the use of the hyphen key as a way of hopping up to the directory listing of the current file. And so without installing this entire plugin in my current setup, I wanted to be able to still emulate that. So. Uh, I've added it in as a normal mode mapping, and we can go ahead and check that out with the map arg. And I say, what is the mapping for the hyphen in normal mode? And it'll tell me that it's running edit percent colon h, and then it's hitting the enter command in order to execute what comes before this. So when I hit the hyphen, I end up executing this command which will then pop me up into this directory here. And if I hit Control O, I jump back. Yeah, so I, I find that uh, a really smooth way of working because I can go up a directory, and then even from here, I can hit it again. I go up one more directory, can navigate down to some file like the readme, and I'm here. So let's look at how I set up that mapping. If I were to edit my vimrc file, which is located in my home directory, we've got um, a bunch of settings going on here, but if I look for this command here, we'll see that I've got it set up as a normal mode mapping. It's silent so that I don't have to see the particular output of that command. And what it says is, again, the hyphen should be mapped to everything that follows here, which is to edit the head of this file and then hit enter. So that's how you can set it up in your project. It's just a single line addition to your vimrc settings. If you want everything that the vim vinegar plugin has to offer, you can install that instead. It probably handles this particular mapping a little more cleanly. Um, if I know Tim Pope, he has really carefully thought out all the different edge cases around this, but uh, for my use cases so far, this has sufficed. So I found that to be a, a smooth addition to my workflow um, and definitely something that I would recommend you check out. Um, and if you're curious about this bit here, um, I recommend looking in the help files for it. We can see that there's all kinds of modifiers. And if we scroll down a little bit, it tells us a little bit more about how this colon H modifies the, the file to be uh, the head of the file name. So yeah, I hope you found this screencast helpful. Uh, if you want to see more like it, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Leave any comments if you have questions, if there's other things in Vim that you'd like me to cover. And otherwise, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.